Hi guys, welcome to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different as it's aimed at trying to help everyone through the COVID-19 lockdowns that are currently in place. Um, I know many of you are fully self-sufficient or you can at least get by with some basic maintenance uh, for your hair systems, but many of you are completely reliant on your stylist and the salon that are obviously now closed at the moment. So the lockdown could go on for months and so I just want to talk a little bit about a remote service that I've put in place uh, to help those of you get through this. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to remove the hair system, um, how to clean your head, how to cut your own hair, and even the reattachment side of things. Okay, so first off, removal. So if this is you, the hair system's attached. I've just got this on with tapes at the moment. But you're going to need a product too uh, called Lace Release. Some people at the end of the month or a few weeks can just peel the system off quite easily. Those of you who have got dry scalps tend to have better bonds, therefore, it can hurt a little bit taking it off. So what I tend to use is this lace release. This is the first thing. So you, you simply spray the uh, lace release through the lace base, which many of you have got at the front. Give it a little chance to absorb and let it get through the lace onto the bond. And it just simply disables the bond straight away. It's alcohol based. And you'll find that once it's had a you know a few seconds, you can just gently peel the system off, leaving the tapes on your head. And you just do this all the way around, spraying it through the lace, all the way around the perimeter. As many of you I know have, do have perimeter bonds. This works with glue as well. And then just gently peel the whole system off, okay? Once the system has been removed, you're gonna have a little bit of glue residue on your head. The best product to use uh, to remove that is this one. It's CT2 by Walkers. What you do uh, is simply spray it all over your head. Careful not to get it in your eyes. Just massage it in to the glue residue. That's kind of... Um, present on your head let it sort of soak in for a little bit then lots of shampoo do this in the shower so you can really let the, the, the water run off your, the top of your head obviously keep your eyes closed because it does sting a little bit if it does get it into your eyes as many of my clients will uh, will back me up on that one um, if it needs repeating just keep on spraying the C22 in keep on massaging keep shampooing it eventually it will all come off uh, some people like to use a comb just to kind of comb off the residue, you know, like drag it through the hairs that have grown, grown through and it's got congealed glue locked in. Uh, you can also get the, the electric clippers and just literally clipper off that hair. Um, but that's probably the easiest side of things, getting your head clean. Once the system's been removed, um, we need to clean the base a little bit. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna talk you through very basic cleanup. Um, now, the, the reason I've got two systems in front of me, one of them is absolutely caked in glue. This is cotton wool, by the way. Um, so what I'm trying to say is don't let it get to this stage. If you, a lot of guys leave it on for four weeks, five weeks, even longer, and then the cleanup is much, much, much more difficult. So rather than, you know, make a big job for yourself, try and take it off every one or two weeks. That way you'll be able to keep on top of the cleanups a lot easier and it'd be much easier f um, for you to get the glue out. And more importantly, the glue wouldn't have had a chance after a week or two to kind of go through the lace into this side, which is where you have to start using solvents and and things like that, which makes the whole job a lot more, lot more sort of difficult. So dry cotton wool, you can see I've already put cotton wool all over the base. This is really, it sticks brilliantly to the, any glue or tape residue. And then just very neatly, very gently, just rub off the, um, the glue like that. You can see it comes off very easily. But the most important thing is the fact that this has um, only been on for a week or two, it's very easy to clean. That's not sticky at all. This one will take a horrendous amount of cleaning. Uh, that said, I my remote service that I'm, I'm going to offer to people is that if you do have a system in this state, you know you really do need to know how to clean it up properly, and it's very difficult for people who don't know how to clean systems. So what I would suggest is send me your systems. Um, you can ask me from postal address. I can clean them up very quick, turn around and get them back to you. If they need any colour applied to the hair, I can do that as well as part of the service. And that way, all you've got to do then is concentrate on your kind of removals and the reattachment and cutting your own hair side of things. So that is available for anyone who really cannot clean a hair system. But like I said, just to recap, just take it off regular and it makes a nice easy job just with cotton wool, okay? So uh, a quick idea of what I mean by a simple haircut. So we've got our number three on here and all you wanna do is just go up to about that high, no higher than that, just all the way around the back and side, not too high. That's the mistake people tend to make when they're 
giving themselves a little buzz cut. So about that high, you can just see it's just clipped the hair and tidied it up a little bit. Right, and then we'll switch over now to a number six. And with the number six, we'll just overlap where where that number three uh, number three join went. And like I said, if, if you use like a one, a two and a three, it's going to be more complicated and much harder for you to blend it. If you use the higher grades, like a three and a four or four and a six or something, you can cut your hair competently without leaving any kind of steps in it. But it's just simple upstrokes. Oh, I've obviously clipped the uh, perimeters of the system up uh, to protect the system. Of course, a lot of you will, will do this with the hair system removed. And that'd be easier again but you know it's just about keeping on top of it so again just use the higher grades number three at the bottom or maybe number four depends on your hair density and then just overlap it with a six and then that should blend okay without looking too bad at all really and then of course i just drop my own hair over the top of that that should be fine now so now your head's all clean, uh, the system you've got clean because you've taken it off more regularly so it's not such a big deal to clean it up or you've just received your system back from me all clean and it's ready to attach uh, through the post. So either way it's here, it's ready to go back on. Now the best way to attach it, I know a lot of you use glue all over or glue at the front certainly for a decent hairline and those that are confident can still continue to use glue but I'm, as I said this video is about simplifying things until we get over this uh, difficult period. Um, so I would go for a tape attachment. So I'm going to kind of show you how to do a tape attachment and how, more importantly, I guess, how to get it attached in the right position using position space. So the first thing you do is, if you've got like a mannequin or or something sort of with a curvature, weight which you can turn the system inside out and bend it over, then simply cut off two inch strips, one and a half inch strips, and stick them to the lace. Fold back um, a little bit of it and then just continue a, another strip all the way around. Uh, I'll speed the video up a little bit just to uh, just so it saves time and then in, in a minute you'll see it all kind of fully continued. So that is a continuous band all the way around. Like I said, you can use glue um, for those of you who are feeling a little bit more confident or do have a little bit additional experience. Um, of course, if you do use a glue, you would put that on the front and obviously the tape would just kind of connect with the glue uh, around the perimeters. And I wouldn't bother with anything in the middle at all simply because we're trying to simplify things here. Um, so the next uh, thing which I know worries people as well as how to clean a hair system, uh, one of the biggest things is how to get this on so it's in the right place. You know, as many of you are gonna put the whole system on and it's gonna be a little bit hanging over here or hanging over there. Well, how do we get past that? There's a very handy little product called Positioning Spray. This is brilliant. Now you can use this on glue and you can use it on tape. Um, now tape always goes on the base. So once I've removed the backing tape, you would simply spray that all over the sticky residue area. <laughs> That will disable the bond temporarily for about 10-15 seconds, depends on how much you need use of this. For the glue on the front, obviously glue goes on your head because it needs to cure and go transparent. So you would spray this directly on the glue. And then with that kind of disabled, that bond there, with this bond disabled, you then stick the whole thing on, find the position and press it down. So I'll just give you an example of how, <clears throat> how this is kind of done. Obviously I'm using tape because we want to try and simplify things just to get us over this period. So I'll just peel all the backing tape off. I do recommend doing a continuous band of tape as well because it just makes it so much more easier to get the uh, backing tape off eventually as well. And you just feel a bit more secure anyway when you've got that kind of all over bond. Right, so like that, as you can see, it's very, very sticky. Okay, so this is the cool thing. Get the position spray, pump it all over, <coughs> all over the tape. And look at that, it's just not sticky at all. It's completely disabled it. So what you would do then in this case, you just plonk the whole system on, and then you've got a bit of time to maneuver it. You kind of lift up the front, you check to make sure it's not too far forward, make sure this side and that side is, is all nicely lined up. It may not be perfect, but hey, we're just trying to get over a difficult period. Once you've got the position of it, 
just hold it nice and flat like this. And as I said, in about 10 or 15 seconds of spraying the position spray on, um, the stickiness comes back. <clears throat> Again, it, it just evaporates and that stickiness comes back. Now that probably has kind of bonded by now, but it does take all the stress out of the situation. So it's a brilliant product. So like I said, I'm not endorsing products, but it is a great product. Uh, it's by Walkers as well. Um, <clears throat> but that is, that's solid now, as you can see, that is completely on there. So you've kind of got it on and it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I've just taken that one back off now. Um, and I'll just finally now talk to you about my cutting uh, service that is also part of the remote service that I'm offering. So again, just to recap, those who want to send their dirty systems, I mean really dirty systems that they cannot deal with, to me, I can clean them up professionally and send them back to you, not a problem. And that it also includes colouring the hair as well, if you need it doing. Um, but I, I'm also going to be continuing, which is a service I've offered anyway, this is something I can do remotely for you, and that's cutting people's hair systems in. So this is a guy who I'm about to cut in and send it to him this week. The postal service is still open. Um, so we're going to get that one all on the mannequin in a second. I'm just going to take off the, uh, the excess trim. Do you example of one of the mannequin cuts I can do which is as I said before this is a service that I've been doing for many many years now anyway it's just I didn't realize how it could actually become so useful at this time uh, what with all the lockdowns and stuff so anyway um just to give you a, a, an idea I'm gonna actually send this one to um, to a client uh, tomorrow um, so I'm sure you won't mind me cutting it live on the uh, mannequin so I always use a little bit of Tresemme conditioner to kind of help style it this is uh, so it's just taped on at the moment obviously with a uh, but that literally is ready to wear so if I send that to him uh, send it straight off to him that will arrive on his doorstep he can attach it fit it himself um, I've done this hair quite for quite a few years so I kind of know what his hairstyle is but but if uh, you know it's the first time you're using this service and you're not quite sure what kind of hairstyle to go for. Uh, I can either um, completely copy an old system that you can send along with the new system um, or just give me the cut length. So I would just need the length for the hair requirement all the way around. Um, but you know, I can do this from afar. So that is my remote cut.